Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's topic we are going to discuss about transformative generative grammar by noam chomsky i hope so you will get all the concepts after this video so let's start this video first of all we will discuss about generative grammar so as you know that generative means to generate and grammar means following set of rules to create sentences so generative grammar means generating a lot of sentences with a set of grammar rules. So what is the purpose of this? It helps us to understand how sentences are made in our minds like our cognitive process. So we can say that I am going to school, he is going to school, she is going to school, she is going to park, he is going to park, they are going to park. So it means that by following one grammatical structure we can generate a lot of sentences. So generative grammar provide us a set of rules that we have to follow to generate a lot of sentences. Moving toward deep structure and surface structure, as you know that deep structure means the sentence core meaning, the sentence basic meaning. So the surface structure is opposite to the deep structure like surface structure means the upper meaning of the sentence like how it is actually spoken or written. So here we have an example of deep structure and surface structure to explain this in detail. Like the deep structure is the cat chased the mouse. Okay, and then the surface structure will be like the mouse was chased by the cat. Both have the same meaning but we are saying it differently because the deep structure means we are saying it actively and the surface structure means that we are saying it passively. So this is the small difference between these two sentences but the meaning is same. So this is how we differentiate between deep structure and surface structure of the sentences we are using in our daily conversation or in our formal academics so you can say that both have the same meaning but they are different by the way you are pronouncing them moving toward transformational rules as you know that transformation mean changing of one sentence structure into an other sentence structure so we can say that a set of rules that change deep structures into different surface structures so as we have example of active and passive sentence firstly we will go with the active sentence the cat chased the mouse and when we convert it and when we transform it into passive sentence it might be the mouse was chased by the cat both have the same meaning but uh, as you know that we are saying them differently so their pronunciation might be different but their meaning remains same so moving toward phrase structure rule we can say that these are the rules that show how words combine to form sentences for example we have a rule a sentence is made of a noun phrase and a verb phrase so we can say that noun phrase can be a determiner or noun and verb phrase can be a verb and noun phrase so we have the sentence the cat chased the mouse in this sentence the cat is our noun phrase in which the is our determiner and cat is our noun and then we have the word chase the mouse that is our verb phrase so we can divide it into verb and noun phrase chased is our verb and in the mouse is our noun phrase and further when we divide the mouse the is our determinant and mouse is our noun so here we can see that by using rules that show how words combine to form structures are known as phrase structure rules in which we will study about noun phrase verb phrase and then we will divide them in determinant noun verb and noun phrase Moving toward lexicon, we always imagine that there is a word lexeme that is related to this word. It means that both have the same meaning. Like lexicon or lexeme, both have same meanings. The study of words, so we can say that a mental dictionary with information about words and what is its role provide words to use in sentences for example the lexicon tells us that cat is a noun chase is a verb and the is a determiner so this is about information of words uh, according to our mental dictionary so moving toward competence versus performance we means that competence is always correct it is the internal and idealized state of language rules like the internal and idealized knowledge of language rules like uh, uh, you are saying uh, she goes to school that is always correct this is the correct pronunciation of the sentence this is the correct creation of the sentence 
But imagine in your daily conversation, in your real situation, you are saying that she go to school due to a slip of tongue. That is always incorrect. This is not the proper structure of the sentence. So you cannot create or pronounce this by this way. Like she go to school. This is incorrect way. So you have to say she goes to school. So this is the difference between competence and performance. Like competence means the idealized knowledge of language, the idealized trait of language rules, and, and the performance means actual use of language in real life situation. like in our daily life conversation then we have errors and variability on the basis of errors and variability we can differentiate between competence and performance what is competence competence is error free perfect understanding of language without any error without any fault for example understanding the correct grammar of the cat is chasing the mouse so this is the correct sentence structure and when we have performance we can say that it includes errors and variability due to real world factors due to real life situations so we can say that the cat is um mm, chasing the mouse um mm, with hesitation so it means that you are not saying it properly that means your sentence is full of speech errors so the last point we have about our competence versus performance that is the focus of the study in which competence means the studies abstract rules and structures of language so we can say that linguistic study how speaker know that the boy is running is correct without needing to think about it because we have the correct sentence structure while performance means performance of language in our real life use like studies practical language use in communication in our real life situation as psycholinguistic observe how people might say the boy is run i mean running in our conversation so here we have to focus on the sentence so our focus of study is the boy is run i mean running in our conversation so uh, this is the human error this is the error of linguistic in our practical language use so we can say that our main focus of study is to differentiate between competence versus performance like the idealized state of language and the real state of language so moving toward the universal grammar we know that what is the meaning of the universe universe means all the word and grammar means set of rules so it means that creating sentences with the same rules that will apply to the all languages of the world so we can say that all human languages share a basic structure and children are born with the ability to learn any languages this is the environment that just trigger out that language like in english we can say that is she reading and like in urdu we uh, can apply this kya wo pad rahi hai so this is the same sentence structure so we can say that transformative generative grammar by noam chomsky set the rules of the language so we can conclude that chomsky's transformative generative grammar explains how sentences are made from basic meaning to spoken or written forms like it uses deep structures for basic meaning and surface structures for how sentences are actually spoken or written in real life situations and transformational rules to change sentence structure to change sentence form into an other and phrase structure rules to combine words it also highlights the difference between knowing language rules that is competence and using language in real life situation that is performance all language have a common foundation called universal grammar which helps children learn language naturally i hope so you got all my points if you like the video please subscribe my channel and stay tuned with me for more updates for more informations if you have any question you can write in comment section i will answer this as soon as possible thank you for your participation bye bye